Hello again YouTube, this is Christy Nitro from the fabulous Las Vegas area and yet again I have another haul and I swear, I swear to god, I really do craft. Um, I'm in the middle of a few projects and you know what, if I have time I'll just throw them in there. Why not? But confession time first. I've been watching your ladies and gentlemen's uh, craft haul videos to see if I can improve on mine, make anything better, make it fun, make it interesting. Um, and through trial and error, I will make these videos better. I'm just new to this. I am really not that good on a computer. I know the programs that I know. And um, it, it's easy. Just let me know what I should do to improve it. Um, but you don't want to hear all that. Let's get on with the haul. So you go to Michael's for one thing. And then you end up walking out with a long receipt. We all know how that goes. It happens to, I think, a good majority. And one of my last videos, I was talking about my stamp block. It had a big chip in it. It just cracked all the way down. It was, it's almost impossible to use. So I went there just for this and I used my coupon on it. So I got a good deal. But since I was in that section, I picked me up another stamp. And did I really need to get this stamp? No. But since I was there, I picked it up anyway. Then, because this was near the section I was in, I picked myself up a Huddy Swap stamp set. And I'm sure you've all seen this before, but I'm really happy to add it to my collection. I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. Then because I was near that section, I ran into the recollection section, noticed that it was 40 off, so I picked myself up some tags, they're canvas tags, there's 15 pieces. Can I make them? Absolutely. Is it easier to buy them on a good sale? Um, yeah, yeah, guilty. So because I was in that section, I scrolled over and I noticed this washi tape from recollections as well. And it's the Chevron. Nothing exciting probably to you, but um, I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. So I'm excited on that. And then because I was in that section, I also came across these guys. They're hen hen hanging on the end cap. And it's just a set of the primary color watercolor pencils. And it's a little kit that comes with a pencil sharpener and a brush. Not like I really needed them because I have enough, but um, I am running short on just basic water watercolor pencils. I go through them pretty quick, and um, these don't seem as soft as a tip as I'm used to, but, you know, as long as they do their job, I'm absolutely okay with it. Uh, they were $9.99, and then I got 40 off of these as well. And then because I was in that section, I looked over a little bit more and I came across this by Recollections. It's a tiny trimmer. And, you know, I wouldn't really think of this more than once. I wouldn't even give it a second thought. But I am doing something called Wreck This Journal with a group of friends. And we're actually having a good time with it. So I have it near. Yeah, okay. So if you haven't heard of something all blocked up. This is a book, it's just Wreck This Journal, and it looks nothing like this when you first get it. Um, it's just something to just, um, it's kind of like little prompts, just like having a junk journal or a scrap book or a smash book or whatever you can think of, but um, it has these little props. Like sew this page and you sew little things in it and you know of course because I've been scrapping for a while I go all out and add pockets and etc etc but it is a really good time and it's just something to get those creative juices flowing and it's really really fun to do with a group of friends um, and it's actually more popular than I thought so yeah I, I mean there's no other way to put it it's just a good time so I'm really happy I'm into that and you're probably like what was that all about but that is my reasoning for picking up this little guy when we go when we go somewhere 
let's pack it up in a bag and then we'll have a little cutter so yay all right so of course because I was in that section it was near the clearance section so I had to look through clearance and I picked myself up also by recollections some glitter glue and this is bling ocean and orchid and it was $1.49, so that's a good find. I also enjoy using those. Then nearby in the clearance section, these guys are just hanging on a little rack. And it's just little clear stamps. And it says $79, but I believe I paid $49 for it. And I believe, I know I paid $49 for it. So if you see those in your store, they're $0.49. Cents. Well worth it. I'll get some use out of those guys. Also recollections. $1.99 on clearance, and I don't know if you can see that, I'll just kind of, I mean, how fun will that be on a Halloween card, or a themed out card, or in a journal, or, I mean, limits that, but good find on those. Also, again, I picked up another 6x6 paper pad from my mind's eye, and this one's dialed up. I went through two of these already. I love this paper collection. Just the wood and the butterflies. I've had a lot of fun with this. And it's nothing new, and I was happy to find it for $2.99. But that was clearance. Then I got all excited because I still have um, a pretty decent sized bin in my store that is still the 60% off some of the collections that they had and yellow pop and it's just a bunch of kind of like textured glittered pencils so those would be fun also I picked myself some trim some more trim I should say not just some trim so this is why I need to learn how to edit video so uh, thanks you guys for struggling through these. I don't know if it's painful or if you're actually getting something out of it. Uh, Spring Blossoms line. I believe these were 50 and these were 80. Everything in this pile was $1.50 uh, and under. And then these metal studs. I already used it in the book. I don't know if you caught that or not. And these are actually fun. I'm so happy I picked these up for 80 cents. I'm going to have a lot of fun with those. Um, they had different designs as well. I think I saw stars. I was really hoping they had a circle, but I didn't see them in my store. And these little pins, clips, pins, big safety pins. If you can see that. This is also yellow pop. These are 80 cents. That will be fun. And then French Bulldog Journal. 150 pages and I just really liked it like I don't even know if I want to do anything on the cover I kind of like it the way it is and then this guy that came with a pen I'm sorry like do you like people taking stuff out is it too crinkly um I've seen things going both ways but this just has lines in it a uh, very basic journal but I like how it has the strap and uh for two dollars or it's, it's two under something like that it was a good find and I'll have fun with that as well and then we all know after you go to the clearance section the little discount section they always get you with the dollar section so I picked up a chevron stamp um, this is from songs of spring can't wait to use that on backgrounds and cards and see it's just, I'm burning daylight here so the glare is killing you let me know too and then just some basic chalk I just like that it was colored something different these were a dollar and it's 24 pieces and like a shabby chic key very very cute I can't wait to put this on a project and even the background can be used as a pocket. And this is Sunset Bliss. And then I picked up, also in the dollar section, these bows. And can you make them? Yes. Is it sometimes just easier to pick it up? Absolutely. And I got these in pink because I don't really have too many pink things. And 
Um, yeah, I'll show you. I'm making a baby junk journal, baby book, whatever you want to call it, and it's nowhere near finished, so no judgment. I'm just showing you I can craft. We all seen this before, and I just glued it on there. And eventually, I'll put this on YouTube if it's something people like to see. But I remember these from another haul. Like I said, it's it's nothing special right now. I don't even know if I want to flip through it. Um, but I can craft. I do a lot actually and sometimes I miss just crafting for myself if you girls and guys can relate so also this weekend it was a sad thing we were supposed to have an art walk and a lot of the big craft names around here were supposed to come out and it didn't happen because our weather it our wind is incredibly strong out here sometimes so I was bummed about that and I was lucky enough to have someone take me to Joanne's and brighten up my day and get a few things. So I'm so very thankful for this. So, oh, is he crinkling? Oh, that's probably driving me crazy. So, uh, Kane Company. Um, I believe that, yeah, Smash Line. If I could only read, right? I picked up, uh, these are journal pocket pages and it's the it's calendars it stays the month and uh, I mean it's so easy to make a pocket and all their stuff right now is their scrapbooking paper crafts is 50 off I think except for Martha Stewart of course and I know these are so easy to make but I actually enjoyed the design on them and I have now a smash or clip or something book that I picked up in one of my hauls and um might add them to it. I also picked up some of his of foam dots. Nothing exciting. That's the size of them. Um, this was in their dollar section. I just needed some more desperately. And then this just caught my eye and I was like, I gave in to basic gray and this is the hello line. And these are the I mean look at how fun that is. Can you just spraying it or oh I can't that's oh, love it. And the Polaroids, and remember these little things? I don't know if you, um, the view windows. Uh, a lot of my college classes, you had to make these and get your little view, and that's what they reminded me of, but that's not what I'm going to use it for, obviously. But good times, reminiscing. And that was 50 off, so that was pretty fun. Then I picked up some of the reinforcements from Tim Holtz. Just vintage style you you can't beat it it's one of those things that's going to be around for a while and these were i believe 99 cents so i should have picked up another one but one's enough one's enough right and then from studio g another clear stamp feel better okay okay did i need this no <laughs> what's wrong with me but um they will be fun it's just fun things that pick you up and then another Studio G again. It's a mini punch. And this one's a little spiral. And I've already used it on several pages in my Wreck This Journal. It's just cute and fun. And something small that you can carry along as well. And then Hello Kitty tape. I know, <laughs> I know no one will ever believe my age, ever. But um, I actually have another project going on where it is Hello Kitty themed and it's one of those things where I'm so frustrated with it but at the same time I'm having so much fun doing it. So yay to Hello Kitty. And then last but not least I picked up a few color shines from Heidi Swap and I just picked up the blush so I could use it in the baby book that I'm making and I go through white a lot and I heard her white is actually pretty good. If you know of a different um, brand, usually what I this is what I usually use. So this is what I'm used to. Um, let me know what works best for you and why because I like white. I like adding it as like a little accent, don't we all? But anyway, thank you so much for sticking through it. And this was my collective haul. 
So thank you so much, ladies, for watching, and keep crafting.